Hey everybody, welcome to the next game in our Shadow War Armageddon series. This is uh, Owen from Game with the Cooler, and he has got his Tanith first and only, fighting my Night Lords. My Night Lords trying to get enough Prometheum to get off this accursed planet. Uh, there's a big war going on, that's when we come and scavenge. Because we're like the trash Being men. Being hampered by a bunch of dudes wearing hoods. That's right, that's right. Hey man, those guys pilot our ships and fix our armor. We gotta keep them around. There's only like six of us probably on the entire ship. A, well, they did knock out some peasants and captains. <laughs> they did, yeah. And then, then they started going after Marines. Well, that's what the Night Lords do, is they show up on planets and they just raid for supplies. So the, the Third Armor Guide War would be a perfect opportunity for a little kill team of like Night Lords to show up and just be like, let's get some fuel, let's get some slaves and some bodies, and then like cave in the heads of some other space marines and steal parts of their power armor. Because when they describe the Night Lords in the Night Lords series, like the novels, they're all wearing armor that's like cobbled together from other chapters. Like he's got like the greave of like an Imperial fist and like a Space Wolf like leg plate and his sword's off of a, you know, a Blood Angel or something like that. So um, this is the, the perfect excuse for this kill team to be on the planet hunting down some tanks. The Tanth have gotten wise to them. They can't convince anybody else that they're actually there. We keep seeing space marines and they keep killing us and turning us into bloody statues, but you know, no one believes stupid guardsmen. Especially not smelly, bearded guardsmen Un like you guys untrustworthy. are. Untrustworthy. Yeah. <laughs> and your one female like adjutant who's clearly on steroids, because she's strength up this four now. She's yeah. this like she's this like hulking like, monster. Shot, just goes yeah. for armor she's as big as the space marine. She's been taken out of action every game and now she's strength up this four. Like she just keeps toughening her up. Yep. Getting, it's, getting bigger. It's pretty amazing. One day our sergeant, our lieutenant will do something. Yeah. She just shows up and is knocked out. Well, the nice yeah. thing is you have a backup lieutenant already who's basically a space marine. Yeah. <laughs> like, all you have to do is equip her and then she gets the chain swords and the suit and she's strike down this floor and walks around murdering everybody. So yeah. it's perfect. So we'll show you the current state of the warbands and we'll roll up a mission and we'll get started. So here's the current state of my night lords. We've got Kellius the Auroch, my aspiring champion, Malevolus with the Melta Gun, and then Carcaris and Dominor, my two space marines. Carcaris is over here, Dominor's over here. Uh, and then we've got my <coughs> four, they've always got the same name, cultists, Primus, Secondus, Tertius, and Quato. So this is Primus, Secondus, Tertius, and then Quato, whose gun is poorly, poorly maintained. Eight out of possible ten guys. Um, I may or may not, depending on the mission, hire in my Raptor. All right, and here is your current state of your warband. What do we got for your kill team? Got uh, Saren in the front. She's got her double chain swords. This game, this game, we're going to do something. She's going to do Go something. Go stab somebody, not get shot. Yeah, we've got Amy, which is our, our big marksman. She's strength four, toughness four. Uh, called or crack shot, so she can take out yeah. armor points. Yep. And then we've got a collection of guardsmen. With, uh, not, they're starting to get skills. One of them has Frenzy. It's this little guy here. <laughs> and um, we've hired in a new guy, or rather, this commissar was passing by with her power sword plasma pistol and has brought her little adjutant, who is this grenade launcher trooper. They've convinced him the Night Lord's real. She's here to inspect and see if the Night Lord's yeah. actually real. Is this actually happening? <laughs> well, we keep getting beat up. They haven't That's killed true. us, uh, though. We're, we're pretty durable. Nobody's died. Well, you got that awesome re Because you had three guys that would have died. Yeah. But we rolled but we were that, on our uh, home turf. We rolled the home turf. That's right, which yeah. is a big deal. And then there's the two guys who are sitting out. That's right, That's back it. here. And they've got Frenzy. Sorry, they both hatred next turn. So yeah. They're both going to hate my warband when it's all said and done. And for mission? Five. An ambush. So for ambush, whoop. spoiler, we're ambushing. Yay! Attacker defender ambushes. I think we roll off four. Roll to determine who is the attacker okay. or the ambusher. High roll is the ambusher. I am. That makes yep. sense. You're on your way to find the Night Lords, and the Night Lords Still find you first. Ambush. Starting with the attacker, <laughs> each turn places terrain, blah, blah, blah. Yep. Uh, deploy. The defender chooses one group. Oh, I have to deploy my team in reinforcements and probably into one or more too. groups of two or more models. Um, I choose one group and place it within six inches of the center. Then the attacker sets up their entire one. Sure. They all have to be behind cover and in hiding, and they may not set up within 12 inches of the defender, but otherwise can be placed anywhere. Um, any remaining fighters are 18 inches out from there. The defender sets up the rest of my kill team one at a time. They nominate a group to deploy on a, D, uh, on a D6. Roll a 1 to 5. They're set up within 4 inches of one of the defender that has already been placed. On a 6, they can be placed anywhere on the battlefield. Nice. Uh, and then though they must still be within four inches of one another. This enables them to ambush the ambushers. Potentially. And if not, they go in reinforcement? No. Uh... Just on the six, you get to go anywhere. Got it. Okay. Yeah. All right, so you got three teams. You've got your basic grunts over here, who will be the initial deployment within six of the center. And then I deploy my guys anywhere on the table, not within 12 of you, in hiding. Or 18 then, in the open. Or 18 in the open, that's right. And then you deploy your guys, um, and they will be within... Um, 
On a one to five, within four inches of a model that's already placed, and on a six, anywhere on the table. Digital deployment, these guys are up here, and I'll deploy my whole warband. Prometheum sprawl table before we get too far into deployment, because I might change things. I'm gonna roll a box cars. Friendly territory. territory, that's cool. And you I get a five, five, so running will slide. make it slip and slide again. The opposite of last game. I'm deployed, we've got Malevolus hiding over here. Uh, my three autogun cultists, that's Secondus, Tertius, and Quato hiding over here. Primus hiding back here where he might be able to charge somebody at some point. And then we have <coughs> Caradon right there. Um, and we've got Kellius, and then we've got uh, my last marine all hidden in this building. So you get your two groups on a one to five, they deploy within force of an existing model. Oh, Who's going first? Uh, Commissar's group. It's a one to five, Nearby. so within four. I'm just gonna go up here. And then the Commissar will just go over here. Okay, this group. Six, anywhere you want. Where they want. It's oh. melee time. Over here. Just ambush and ambushers. Hello, everyone. Well, I might still go first, though. I know. Okay. It's a risk we're going to take. All right. There you are. Everybody's hanging out. So let's see who gets the first turn. Six over six, you go first. I did. You did. She only had one shot to do that because it's for each group that was able to go anywhere, you oh, can potentially go yes. first because you've now seized the initiative. So if you're all right. six. So it made sense to break those guys up into that's smaller right. groups. No. Okay, so I get to go first. Okay. Well, I was gonna I was say because that, that seemed like <laughs> that seemed like a for sure. Otherwise, well, I got choices. I can either charge here or I can try and murder. I think one person's gonna charge. That's gonna be him. He's gonna charge her. Sweet. Ha, get you. Blah. Fall down. Nope. nope. These fellas, I think, are just. Oh my gosh, you're. I gotta shoot you. Do some advancing. This guy's gonna advance up to here. Huh. You guys will all stay where they are currently in hiding. You guys will also stay there currently in hiding. They so, are not hiding. Oh, that's right. You're inside, inside initiative. It doesn't really matter if they're hiding or not because they're going to shoot you. So they will bleh, lose their hiding counters because you're inside initiative range. Actually, he would have as well because you're inside initiative range. Shooting. I'm going to throw a frag grenade at him. Let's go four. Uh, I ignore your cover because it's a frag grenade. It's minus one of the covers. So okay. Like heavy cover would be minus So it's light cover then. So it would be minus one. It's on a four plus. Okay. This is Malevolous. He is going to hit you. Sweet. Strength three. Wound. Doesn't wound, but you are pinned, which is the important thing. We're here. Everyone's just gonna turn around and hopefully gun you down as you apparently just like appeared behind us on top of a crate. <laughs> so, uh, auto guns are plus one to hits in short range. Sure. Uh, you'll have cover against him, but I think these ones are also in the open. Okay. So, this one will be the in cover one first, which is uh, Quato on a f uh, plus one for range, minus one for cover, so it'll be on a four. Hits you. Um, and then it's on a four, four times three. No wounds, but you're pinned. Yep. Initiative test for being near the edge. Pass. Good. This one, uh, now it's on a three. Hits you. Uh, on a four, four. wounds. Nope. nope. Pin test, or sorry, fall test. Stay good. Last one. Hits. Wounds. Armor uh, save. Four plus. Nope. nope. And she's yeah. downed. And initiative test. Falls. Falls. So I think it's just over three. I think it's probably a four inch tall yep. crate. So it's yep. going to be six hits, or D6 so D6 hits. D6 hits and strength three, four. So strength four hits, uh, two of them, one wound. One wound, uh, five up. You're good. Four guns, let's do over here. Uh, the Carcaris is going to reveal himself, and he will use his fast shot ability to shoot your Commissar. Okay. Ah, uh, now you can't really see your Commissar. He'll shoot this guy in the open. It's going to be D3 shots. One. Uh, it'll be, I don't think I'm within 12 because I can't because I can't deploy within 12. Um, and then, yeah, three plus to hit. And... and yep. Three wounds. <laughs> three to wound. Wounds. Yep. And what happens? That's He's out. Right. Just shut him in the head. Black. Dominor is going to take a shot at your Commissar. Um, he's going to use his photo visor so that he can take your heavy cover into light. Sure. Um, not within 12, of course. Actually, he might be because you deployed afterwards with her. So she might actually be within 12. Yeah, he is. Okay. So that's going to be plus one hit. So just a three. Sure. Hits. And then a four to wounds. Sorry, three to wounds. Wounds. Armor save. Nope. I only have flak armor. The three. Yeah. So down. This is going to stay hiding because he can't really see anybody. So uh, that will be that. Melees. I charged in. Yep. Uh, so I have two attacks for Primus. And you've got one attack for Amy. Dave. Amy. Whoa. You're gonna um, die. I can't parry it. Yep. <laughs> so your weapon skill is gonna be uh, mine's three, three, so eight. Uh, mine is six, seven because I charge, but you go to nine. 
because of my fumble. So that's going to be on two hits. It's two hits. Strength four. Uh, oh, so I had wounds. Yeah, threes. threes. Two wounds. I'm wounded and I'm out. <laughs> oh, sorry. Just see, I'm out. Uh, does it matter in melee? Oh, if I flush, yeah. yeah. If I double flush, yeah, you're good. Two wins consolidate as she murders me. Just gonna stay behind this box. Sounds good. So testing, because you got enough guys down, and your commissar is also down. Seven though, you're good, so you stick around. Uh, you can't, there's no problem than two, so you can't unpin. Moving some dudes. I'm just gonna hide with everyone. Okay, sounds good. Hide, 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 hide. Yep. And I'll throw some counters down for you. And then you get to make some recovery rolls. Uh, except for a move. move. Get into some cover. From both sides, basically. Sounds good. Go there. This guy in the back. Shoot him. Sounds good. Uh, he's in cover, so minus one. Plus one for range, though, because you are within 12, so twos. Hits, it's but it's an ammo check. check. Um, uh, you get four, you. three to wound. Doesn't matter. Yeah, no spot to dot. And I don't succeed. Uh, I don't, don't know if I can use my armor, even though she's down, because armor is just... Um, yeah, Before the game, it. you just if get it. Was, if it was deployed, that's, that's right. all it was. Yeah, because yeah. she's, she's, she's fixing everybody's guns. She loves it. Recovery rolls. So this guy's going to be pinned. Face up. No, it was him, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Face up. Uh, recovery for your boss. Saren is Good. still down. And the Commissar is still down. Okay. All right. So I have to do some recover from pinning for this fellow on initiative three. He does not. He stays pinned. And um, he didn't shoot anybody else. Yeah, so it's over to me. Charges. So we're just going to do some movements. Uh, these guys are going to walk and walk. Well, this is going to go. He's going to walk up to here. He's going to run. He's going to have to run. He's got to spot everybody for him. He's going to go there. Another four inches. See if he falls down. He sees nothing. Duh! <laughs> Cracks his head. Ouch. See what happens to him. Uh, roll for yeah. it. Does he's not break just... his neck. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, yeah, he just goes down. That's, so you'll, that's you'll roll it at the end of your turn and all that. Yeah, and but. see if he recovers. Um, everyone else, do I want to move some more? Try and get some people in line of sight? I'm going to have to, because even though he's down, this doesn't really help me. Boss is going to walk. He's going to walk four Whoop, to the top of this. Just so that you can see all of that guy. Sure. Stay where he is. And he can see her, so he'll stay where he is too. Yep. These two cultists trying to riddle your boss. So him, uh, get some cover. So it'll be on a... Oh, no, wait. I'm not with initiative. I can't see you. You're hidden. Do I climb down? We'll just shoot her because that's all we can see. So I think I'm still within 12. Also minus one, so fours for Quato. Gonna miss. And fours for Secondus. He is gonna hit, but it's ammo roll. Um, Does and wound? Fours to wound. Five to wound. Doesn't wound. Ammo roll. You are pinned, though. And he passes. It's a four plus. The boss is gonna go. He's gonna fast shot onto this guy. Whoops, we can see because he's elevated now. Um, and that means he will get D3 shots. And one. he gets one. Um, it's not within 12 though. So he's gonna be hitting on a three for long range. Hits. Doesn't moon. We are pinned. Dominus is gonna fire. Take a shot into Amy. She'll be in cover. Uh, and a three, he didn't move, so cover goes to light cover. I'm within 12, so the three will still hit, because it would hit on twos normally. Four to wound. Uh, wounds. wounds on a six. Yep. And you're downed. Darkers will take a shot into her, same thing, didn't move. He dials up his shots and gets two. Uh, uh, so the he's not in short range, though. First one, yeah, yeah, he just uses photo visor, so he'll be on three. Four. Fours, fours right. normally. He would miss. No, that was how many shots. Oh, got. sorry. This okay. is rapid firing. So the first one hits, but it's an ammo roll. Uh, wounds on a three. Sorry, wounds four rather. Four. Doesn't yep. wound. Ammo roll. He's good because it's a five plus. Second shot hits. Doesn't wound. Every time for him. Doesn't. Uh, he's just going to stay downed. Cool. Which means you can charge him. <laughs> yeah, because your boss and the commissar are down, and you're out. There we go. Peace. All right, let's see if the Malevolus is out at the end of the game. He is not, so he's going to stand back up. And Saren, see if they're down. Saren is fine. Amy. It's fine. Is there a bounty on the Commissar? No, they're, okay. we, our bounty is the Ogren. Okay, gotcha. Uh, Primus go down, got beat up by Amy, but luckily we're in friendly territory. But he's nah, fine, full good. recovery. I could reroll it and hope for the six. No, you can only reroll one, two, threes. Oh, that's right, only one, two, threes. Okay, yeah, so I have full recovery, I'm fine. Man gets to go, he and he's full recovery. Away. Yeah, you're fine. One advance, you're gonna give it to your boss. Come on, sir. Gorilla table, or what do we get? 11. 11, it's a stat increase. Is that attacks? Ballistics Ooh, go. okay. Let's go five. Do I want well. to reroll it? No. It's, it's yeah. added right to your combat score. Like, that. why wouldn't you? Yeah. yeah. I'll also give mine to Kellyus, the Arc, my leader. And we get a four, which might be a, a good stat. Strength or attack. Oh, I love it. Uh, I'll give him an extra attack. Yeah, I'll give him an extra attack. Three attacks. Add D3 to my Prometheum cache. And get two. 
So spending one of my Prometheum cash, um, I'm hiring another Marine, and that's gonna be Daminor as opposed to Dominar. Uh, they're brothers, that's why they have the same miniature. <laughs> Uh, and for 200 points, I can get him with a bolter, bolt pistol, camo gear, clip harness, um, and photo visor, and a sword. I think it rounds at like 195. Um, and that way they are, he's fully geared when he shows up. He is a full-on space pirate. Uh, and that's it for my advancements. Well, the comments are being dead. More of her, like, bodyguard are basically now seconded to your, uh, your squad here. Yep. Saren has proven durable, if not successful. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Going out every game with no even attacking anything, but not dying. And learning lots of skills. And getting better <laughs> as she does it. Um, other than that, we hired another specialist just with another LAS gun. Until you can um, actually equip him better. next round, we can buy him a, a grenade a launcher. Gun. Yep. And uh, that's all we were really able to do. That's it. Well, these these two guys are now convinced the Night Lords are real and that they've seen them in, in up close and in real life. Murder them. And they're going to murder them with crack grenades. That's the plan. And hatred. And hatred. Everyone hates. That's right. You two guys are coming back with hatred. So you got some yeah. leadership. Oh, I thought that's what you were talking about. The, the bad guy has a crack grenade and regular grenade grenade launcher. Nice. And then that's what he's got so far. Next, next round, we'll next buy round. another guy uh, another great When you do your re-equips, got it. Cool, and there it is. End of uh, the game, currently standing at a total of nine guys, though, in your team. So there you go, I'm at six, you're at two now from Prometheum Caches, um, and both of our warbands are approaching critical mass, 10 guys. So we're not gonna be able to have any more new hires, and which should be equipping guys that we have like in existence. And that's interesting, because once you reach that point, your 100 points of equipment every round, starts to pile up and you're not really able to add much more. Like I'd have to like start firing cultists right. to start adding Marines. And I really need to get two cat, like a, a cash plus an advance or roll well on the Prometheum sprawl table to get a Marine. Cause I need 200 basically to hire a guy with a bolter. Um, I need like 300 to hire a guy with a heavy weapon or a special weapon. I can buy my guy's armor, else. I yeah. guess. But then they lose initiative. So I don't want to do that. I don't know. I don't know. Other than that, they have all of the best gear they can get already. That's right. They start, they, they start off really, really good. It's last gun, hot shot. Red dot. Because we're 40 games in now, and I'm feeling pretty, like, I can't really buy my Marines anything else. They're they're as good as they're going to get, and unless I start firing cultists, which I kind of don't want to do because I like having guys that I don't care if they die or not. Like, <laughs> that's that's very Night Lords-y of me. <laughs> I'm more likely to use a cash to to hire in a, a Raptor because they're great because they're so fast. They're so good at getting, like, in your face and just falling up into new combats and stuff like that. Because, like, you have a little cluster of three guards, but I mean, if you can just charge one and kill it, you can just pile into the next one, and then... He's stuck fighting him basically next turn, which is a big deal. And then his friend's got a fear check to get in or not. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and and, it, and actually uh, even a, a runaway check if I kill somebody nearby. So if I'm if I'm in range to follow up, he's been in range to make a, a you just made that guy into red paint <laughs> test to see want if to he fight falls back. With my lieutenant, Ever, hasn't it's she's yet. she's been cursed. I'll be honest. Well, actually, to be fair, neither is mine. He's been shooting most like he yeah, all of his skills shooting. That's true. I didn't even throw my grenade. I, I know, yeah, like, you didn't even throw your grenade, which is I, a big I deal. I tried to hide, and then you were just like, oh, I'm just beside you, so I reveal yeah. you. Yeah, no, that's like, true. Oh, yeah, and okay. then you show up. Yeah. I like it, because this is the miniature, like, this specific miniature from Dark Vengeance is the one where the bolter's being reloaded by the tentacles growing out of his back. It's one of my favorite ones, because he's got all the equipment, and now that I've got three attacks, I actually have, like, because I only have two in my profile, because I can't use an extra weapon, because I have a bolter. Right. Which means that I actually skill, have three now. Bulky's a skill? There's a skill where you can use two hand weapons and have a regular and how, and how? Oh, sorry, it's probably a muscle skill. It's probably, probably what it is. It's probably one of the muscle skills. I actually have to look at the muscle table now because that's that's worth me having for all my Marines, actually. Yep. If I can roll that one, that's a big deal. I mean, it's worth it for anyone who's going to use like a regular weapon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, now that they've all got kind of like good shooting stuff anyway, they kind of just want to get that stuff. Unless they're all buying gun reloads. Buy everyone chain swords, I guess? Or reloads. Oh, reload. Reload is a big deal for you, I think, because you've got the the, the worse, sixes. yeah, the yeah. worse ammo roll now because you've got hot shots. It's worse, I think it's though. sixes. Yeah, yeah it's, it's worse than bolters. It's actually worse than bolters because bolters are fives. Yeah, yeah, which is a big deal for you. So a weapon reload I think is worth it because you've actually had ever like every game since you bought them, somebody's run out of ammo. Yeah, Almost at least once. And armor is useful. You've got armor in the, in the team now too, which is lets you reroll one. But having well, a having a reload means you can just ignore it if you fail, which is cool. Yeah. Well, the grenade launchers need it more because they have a seven. Yeah, and they yeah. they need to do it. And they're usually hitting on crap anyway, because long range they're at minus one. No, Fours, like regardless, period. Fives, because of cover. Yep. Yeah. Look so it's pretty hard. Sixes. So anyway, that was our fourth game now of this, and it's starting to get to the point where I'm just like, I'm just gonna start saving Prometheum and maybe hiring Raptors. Yep. <laughs> You're getting close. You're getting <laughs> getting pretty close. close. So we'll see what happens next game. I'll be in two weeks um, or next week probably on Game with the Cooler. We'll see another one of these happen. So until then, I'm Ash's own. Apple Gaming.